daughters watch your fights? They do, but I keep telling the story that I put my daughters to bed every night, and my oldest is six now. I gave her a kiss, and I'll see you in the morning, and she says, Daddy, your fight's coming up. This is my last fight with Figueroa. I said, yeah. I said, Daddy, I don't want you to get hurt. And it scared me because she now is rationalizing, putting two and two together. There's pain involved in my occupation and what I do. So as I go to bed with my wife and say, hey, we gotta make a decision because as a kid, I would get scared seeing my dad have rotary. So I'm like, kick the guy's ass. So, you know, I'm like, oh, no fight, please. You know, at my level, what we do and the way I fight, it could be scary, but the day before the fight, my, wife, my daughter called me and said, daddy, mommy told me I can't go to the fight. She said there's an age limit, those people are stupid. And I was like, you wanna to go to the fight? And she was like, yes, I wanna be there. So all right, we'll bring you to the fight. And it worked out. Kinda of gives me more motivation. She's coming to this one? Absolutely. Both of my kids, my two daughters, Raina and Riley. So, you want extra motivation, extra. Uh, do you have kids? Do any of you guys have kids? Oh, yeah. I get it. Can you imagine someone walks up to your kid and goes, hey, give me that. Bam, and smacks him in the face in front of you. What are you going to do? Take care. All right. There you go. I will, ki I will kill somebody that, that hurts my family. That's it. And when you have a kid, you're going to remember the word I give you, unconditional. You know what it means because you're a smart individual. But you're not going to know what, what it means until you see your kid born for the first time. You're going to be like, you hit me, I was like, ah! Cry like a baby. Mr. Tough about, guy. Um, you don't want to hear about that. One time we were at Costco before a fight many, many years ago. We are at Costco and I'm down in weight, barely walking, about 130 pounds, and this guy cuts off my dad in the parking lot. And I'm sitting there, and this guy comes up to my dad and says, Sir, you need to learn how to drive. And I'm like, Oh, wrong move. And my dad's, his fuse is about that big, even at his age now. He's, not, he's in his 50s, so he's not old. And uh, my dad had the shopping cart. And I was like, dude, just walk, man. Just keep moving. Because I'm not going to jump in. I'm about 130 pounds right now like this. I'm not going to jump in. And my dad gets the cart. Wow, he's hitting the guy. Wow, hitting him. the guy's going, sir, sir, security. I'm like, dude, just keep walking. I was like, dude, keep your mouth shut. Trust me, you're not the guy you want to start with. So as a kid, I would see my dad road rage. I'm like, no, dad, don't fight again. Bye, I'm a fighter. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. <laughs>